Hi guys, so I was recently made aware of the fact that I am four books behind my Goodreads goal, um, which is not great. Basically, my Goodreads goal is 50. I'm at 25. I'm halfway, but I am four books behind. And I thought that I really need to catch up. I'm reading like 10 books right now. I'm like halfway through all of them. So basically, today's video is going to be catching up on my Goodreads goal so that I'm not four books behind going into the school year where I will have less time to read than I do now. So without further ado, I'm going to be catching up on my Goodreads goal. Okay, so currently I am reading like a ton of books. I am listening to the last thing he told me and I only have like an hour left. So I'm going to try to finish that tonight. It's a little after 10 and I have to wake up really early tomorrow. But I'm going to try to finish that while I kind of like clean my room and get ready for bed. Because there's only like an hour left, but I think half that might be like the credits. Um, so I'm hoping it's less than an hour. And then I can watch the show, not tonight, but after I finish reading it, my incentive is that then I can watch the show with Jennifer Garner in it, which looks really good. And then I'm also reading Into the Wild for school. And I'm honestly pretty close with that one. I want to finish that one probably tomorrow, maybe. Um, by the way, today is Wednesday, the 7th um, of August. And then I also started The Breakthrough. The Breakaway? The Breakthrough? I think it's The Breakthrough. Um, and it seems really cute. So I kind of want to finish Into the Wild and then start the breakthrough. And that's kind of like my reward for getting through Into the Wild. Tonight, the goal is to finish the last thing you told me. So I'm going to get on that and get ready for bed and clean my nasty room because it's so bad. Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday the 8th. And I finished listening to the book last night. I told you all about it. And I've decided to rate it a 2.75. Um, it was not my favorite book. I mostly, I don't know if it had to do with it being audio, like I don't know if I would have liked it better without audio, but I don't think I would have. I'm actually grateful I did do it on audiobook because like it kind of kept me more engaged. Um, but I will say I'm really excited to watch the TV show because it's an interesting plot line. And I think I also went into the book thinking it was going to be like a mystery, like a thriller mystery. but. It's more kind of like fiction. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if I would call it, it's definitely not a thriller. And it, like the mystery element isn't really the biggest plot line. You're kind of just like following this woman's life. Um, and you are kind of figuring out some mysteries, but it's not like, I don't know. It wasn't what I expected. I thought I was getting myself into like a Lisa Jewell book. It is, it could not be compared to a Lisa Jewell book. So it's partly my bad for going into it thinking it was the wrong kind of book um, or a different kind of book. But I did decide to give it 2.75, but I am excited to watch the TV show because I think this might be an instance where the TV show might be better than the book. Um, and I really like the actors that they chose, especially Jennifer Garner. So I might watch that tonight. But I've been continuing reading Into the Wild. I have only like 50 pages left. I think I'm on page 160. So I'm really going to try to crank that out today, um, but we'll see. But this is totally unrelated to books, but I mean, it's, I feel like candles and coffee kind of go with books. So basically I went to this bookstore and it was like, um, it was kind of like a bookstore, but of candles. And so they kind of like made it look like a bookstore, but they had blind date with candles, which I think was so fun. So I wanted to open this candle with you guys. The scent type is warm, earthy, and musk, and this is the description. Walking down historic streets, admiring the view along the coast, while the earthy scent at the statuesque trees, of the statuesque trees, wafts through the air. So I'm really excited. That sounded really good. I feel like this will be a good fall scent. Okay, the scent is the old city. It is Spanish moss and salty air. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's actually very beachy, like kind of summery. Mm, that's really good though. Okay, I picked well, I picked well. So maybe I'll light that today while I'm reading. Okay, I'm almost done with Into the Wild. I think I'm gonna finish on audiobook because I'm honestly kind of like, I found myself while I'm reading, I've been getting kind of bored or like not bored, just like spacing out and then I have to reread stuff. So I'm gonna listen to the last few chapters on audio. I just got to chapter 18. I finished Into the Wild. I finished the last like two chapters um, on audio because I was kind of getting bored. 
Um, and I'm not going to rate this because I always feel weird rating memoirs or rating books about people's lives because like I'm not trying to rate their lives. And also I just really couldn't come up with like a good rating for this book. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really interesting and I'm glad I read it. I probably wouldn't have read it if I didn't have to for school. Um, but I'm glad I did read it. Um, but I don't know if I'll like read any more of his books. Um, it was really sad. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't really know what to say about it. Well, actually, it, you know, it literally says what happens on the front of the book. So you know he dies. But basically, it's a book about a real guy who um, died in 1992. His name is Chris McCandless, and he went off on an expedition in Alaska by himself and lived out there for six months, and he died um, in the wilderness. Um, it kind of jumps around, and so you hear, you end up hearing a bunch of different stories of him and then, like, other people, other people he interacted with. There's two chapters dedicated to John Krakower's life, which I thought was interesting and I wasn't expecting. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I'm done because it was making me sad while I was reading it. But I know I said I was going to read The Breakaway, which I think I called it The Breakthrough. It's actually called The Breakaway. I know I said I was going to read that, but now there's like so many books that I'm in the middle of that I feel like I should read. I might read Song of Achilles. I also started volume five of Heartstopper like ages ago, and I kind of want to finish that just because I checked my Goodreads today, and after reading two books, The Last Thing You Told Me and Into the Wild, I'm still three books behind. Um, so I really need to get on that. So I think Heartstopper would be a good thing to read because that's like a short little graphic novel, and that would help me catch up to my goal. So if I can find that book, it's somewhere in my room. If I can find it, I think I'm going to read that next. Okay, I found the book. I'm currently feeling really silly because it was just staring at me on my bookshelf and I was looking around my entire room and could not find it, but I found it. So we're going to continue reading it. I literally just got to like chapter one last time I read it. Hi guys, it is Friday and I finished Heartstopper volume five yesterday. I really liked it. It was a very quick read. Obviously it's a graphic novel, um, but yeah, I liked it. I rated it four stars. I rate all of them four stars just because you can't really give a five star to a graphic novel, I feel like. But like, I enjoy all of them and I will continue to read all of them. Um, but I think the last one is volume six, but it definitely made me want to watch the show. So maybe I'll start rewatching it. Um, but today I've been reading The Break Away. I keep thinking it's a breakthrough for some reason, but today I've been reading The Break Away and I'm not very far in, but it's getting good. Something kind of just happened um, that's like, I don't know, leading us into the story. And so I'm excited. Hi guys, it is Saturday and I'm clearly having a very comfy day. Um, I had a really busy morning and now I'm really tired. It's like 3.30. So if I fall asleep, I fall asleep um, and take a nap. But I do want to read. Let me get my Kindle out. I'm about 25%. Sorry, y'all can't see it when I hold it like that. I'm about 25% through the breakaway, um, and I like it. It's really cute, although I didn't know there's, like, a kind of a significant plot line of the relationship between the main character and her mom, because um, basically what the book's about is it's this girl named um, Abby, and she has, like, a one-night stand with this random dude in New York. Um, she only gets his first name. It's very spontaneous, but it's, like, like the best night of her life. And then she goes back to where she lives. She lives in Philadelphia and she has this two year relationship with this guy. And so she's in the midst of this relationship when um, she gets called and asked if she'll lead a bike trip around like Northern North America, like new around Albany and New York. Um, and so she goes on it. And I don't know if this is on the back, but the guy who she had the one night stand with is there. And then um, it's also, so it's obviously like a romance plot line, but it's also um, she's grown up fat her entire life and her mom has like shamed that part of herself and like sent her to fat camp and stuff. And so there's also like a really big plot line between her, like the relationship between her and her mom, which was very unexpected. Um, but I'm just hoping it's not too sad. Like, I don't know. I wasn't expecting that plot line and currently I just don't like her mom at all. Um, but maybe it'll be like character development. So they just kind of finished introducing all the characters and now they're like going on this bike trip and they're like in the midst of this bike trip. 
and I'm really excited about the romance because I really like both the characters together. They're really cute. So I'm going to keep reading. I'm really enjoying it. Hi guys. I'm in my squeaky chair, so that's why it's squeaking. Happy Sunday. Um, I have been reading. I was also, I was having kind of a productive morning because I'm trying to clean my entire room and bathroom. And I'm taking a little brain break because I've made a lot of progress. And so I'm going to continue reading The Breakaway. Um, I'm 34% through, which I'm still two books behind. So I really need to pick it up so I can finish another book after this. Um, so I'm going to try to read a lot today. This book is reminding me of if you've seen the movie Happiness for Beginners on Netflix, it's really cute. I definitely recommend it. It's like a little rom-com, but this book kind of reminds me of that because um, they have like kind of similar plot lines, but it's really good. It's really cute. And there's also, I didn't know it would be like this, but there's also flashbacks to like her childhood when she met her current boyfriend, Mark, um, which I, I'm enjoying those because it's like them when they're like cute little 13 year olds, but you're basically um, following the main character, Abby, and then you also get the POV of Sebastian, and then you also get the POV of Lily, and Lily's a mom who is also on, um, like, the bike trip. So, I something kind of big just happened on page 130. Not really big, but, like, there was some action on page 130. Okay, I was wrong because I just got introduced to another point of view, and it started out with a bang. So, I'm starting to think, I think this book is, like, where it's like all these different point of views and then it's like how they all connect at the end kind of like um crazy stupid love or like not not even like that but like i don't know they're all like on this bike trip for a reason and so it's like about all these different people and all their different problems because yeah one of these point of views was unexpected and i'm kind of shook but i'm intrigued i'm intrigued i want to keep going hey guys it is monday and i'm 63 percent in this i'm hoping to read more tonight um i'm enjoying it it's something kind of big just happened actually um and we keep getting more and more point of views which i think is interesting um because they keep surprising you with some but honestly the romance isn't that heavy like i thought it'd be mostly romance but it's a lot more about like the different characters lives than it is about these two people's romance so i'm hoping the romance kind of picks up a bit um but it is good i like it Hi guys, it is a few days later and I finished The Breakaway like three days ago um, and I'll talk about that in my August reading wrap up so stay tuned for that video um, and then I also just started um, Summer Fridays by Suzanne Rindell. It's actually really cute. My friend like randomly picked it up at Walmart and bought it and she really liked it so she lent it to me and it's really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm a little over halfway. Um, but unfortunately, I just checked my Goodreads goal and I'm still two books behind. Um, but this video is getting long, so I think I'm going to end it here. But at the end of the day, I think it was a success because I was four books behind and now I'm only two books behind. So I caught up a bit and I'm getting back on track in terms of like reading consistently every day. So overall, I think this video was successful, but I definitely have more work to do. I need to continue reading. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.